Blind Spotting tells the story of two friends, Colin and Miles. Colin is on his last few days of probation. Both of them work for a moving company in which they pack up people's belongings, take their stuff to the dump, and he's trying to survive these last few days on probation where he has a curfew at 11 p.m. with his incredibly volatile friend, Miles. And this guy is really hard to handle, but they've been friends forever, and so he feels a need to continue to be with this guy or at least help him in some way, but he's also trying to restart his life and not go down the path he was already going down. This movie was incredible. I thought it was really amazing. I had uh, really no anticipation going in. I hadn't even seen the trailer, but I had heard from various people that it was really good. I didn't even know what it was about. I mean, what I just told you is kind of the, scratches the surface of what this is about. It, it's really a, a film about a lot of things. Uh, most of it is about stuff that's happening in Oakland, California, and the way it affects these two guys, and how life can be really hard for both of them in different ways. And I loved how the film explored some really difficult subject matter and some really intense stuff. And it doesn't always necessarily present the answers, but it understands that sometimes the answers are so murky that let's just present the problem and show you how two guys who don't really have a way out have to deal with it. And I found it enthralling. I thought this was one of the best acted and best written films I've seen all year. The director is Carlos Lopez Estrada, and I thought he was also phenomenal. The way he chooses to focus on certain things more than once, he, he definitely develops a routine for Colin's character. The way he wakes up, the way he turns off his alarm, the way he goes jogging, and we see the progression of his character's psychosis after seeing a terrible event and how each of those morning routine things he always does every morning changes subtly throughout the film, and, and I thought it was really brilliant. In regards to editing and, and pacing, this film is quite amazing, actually, and I was kind of blown away with how much he was able to do with really just a couple characters and some really beautiful locations. I mean, visually, the movie is stunning. The, the, the places in Oakland that he films, the graffiti, the, the back alleyways, the way he uses lighting in the opening scene in particular with these three guys sitting in a car. There's purple lights, there's blue lights, and they're all amazed by these guns this guy has. And, and that, that leads me into something that I really did not expect. I did not expect this movie to be as funny as it is. It's actually hilarious. Despite some really serious subject matter, I found myself laughing consistently, especially with Miles, because he has a way with words. There's an early scene where he asks somebody for a box filled with hair care products, and he goes to this salon that's just filled with women, and he tries to sell all of these hair care products to the women, and it's one of my favorite scenes in the film. Whenever Miles tries to sell anything, it's quite hilarious. This movie was a big surprise. Um, I am saddened that it's not really being seen that much. It was only in Cleveland for a very brief time, and I saw it yesterday, and today, as I film this, it's actually gonna leave the theater. So if you guys have it in a theater near you, I would definitely suggest seeing it, because I don't know if it's doing that well box office-wise, and I don't know if it has much of a push behind it. I know critics are digging it, and I know that people who have seen it like it, but I think this is one that I would love to see more support. Something else that's astonishing to me is the lead actors here have actually written the film. David Diggs and Raphael Casal, and I apologize if I've said your names incorrectly, not only are they portraying the lead characters, but they wrote this film, and so it's clearly very personal to them, and they've done an excellent job at crafting two extremely realistic and grounded characters that feel fresh and that feel unique. And like I said, the film explores some dark territory, but somehow miraculously does it in a somewhat lighthearted way. That being said, the film does have its dark moments, two scenes in particular that I am not going to forget anytime soon. One argument between the two friends in which the lead is trying to convince his friend that you're really the real problem here, not me, man. You're the reason I'm getting into so much trouble. And I thought it was absolutely riveting. I was glued to the screen for every word out of their mouths. It was incredible and uh, a final kind of confrontation. Uh, I won't get into it, and it was just amazing stuff. There's a few small issues I have with the movie, and most of it is just uh, some tone problems. Sometimes the humor doesn't necessarily flow as well with some of the more serious elements. Like I said, it's, it's amazing how funny the movie actually is, but there were some scenes where it was a little jarring, like I was still very affected by something that was very sad or depressing, and then all of a sudden we have this humor. But at the same time, it kind of captures their lives perfectly because these two guys are in an environment 
that's making life difficult on them. But they also are funny guys, and they've been friends for a long time, and they have to hustle a little bit and, and, and do things that they're, that they're not 100% excited about doing, and so it's funny. But the tone, really, just every so once in a while, was just uh, wasn't perfect. And, and that's really it. Blind Spotting is one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this year. Like I said, if it's in a theater near you, please do see it. I'm going to give it an A. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.